We're in Hermosa Beach. It's a beach city, part of the South Bay region of greater Los Angeles. The house fronts a walk street, which is a street that is free of cars with pedestrian access only. The walk street homes promote the social aspect. Everyone gets together to have block parties. They have an annual chili cook-off. They all gather and share in holiday decorations. It's a nice family-oriented community. The brief was pretty straightforward. The clients wanted a home that really connected to its site and took advantage of the Southern California climate. The entrance is tucked into the northwest corner of the floor plan. It's a casual entry. It's separated from the living spaces with a breeze block wall. The kitchen, dining, and living spaces are open plan. There's a den towards the back of the property. It can double as a guest room. The bedrooms are all upstairs along with the study. There's a second floor balcony that overlooks the walk street below. From there, there's access to a rooftop terrace where there's a soaking tub, a lounge area, and panoramic ocean views. A great place to catch the sunset. The open plan living eliminates the interior partitions and allows the spaces to borrow from each other, and this helps maximize a small footprint. A 27-foot glass panel wall that runs the length of the dining and living areas extends the interior to a patio and bamboo garden. When the doors are open, the interior truly blends with the surrounding. It's hard to distinguish when you're inside and when you're out. The majority of the walls on the perimeter can open to the outdoors and it allows the constant ocean breeze to come in and cool in the interiors. The upstairs has operable windows and skylights and that helps aid in the stacking effect, releasing that warm air out and help drawing in that cooler breeze. The thing that makes the interiors unique, especially in the open plan on the main floor, is there aren't a lot of typical walls. The lack of walls on the interior, especially on the main floor in the open plan, it forces every object to have a place. Whether it's a piece of art on the floating fireplace or a turntable inside the built-in cabinet. In a small floor plan, a lot of the spaces have to serve double duty. We implemented a mechanical lift to actually stack the garage on top of each other. The hallway doubles as a library and then becomes the study. The front porch serves as an outdoor family space. I think in a small space, the quality of detail is important. We take pride in making sure all the reveals, all the intersections of different materials, they all check out. We used a lot of natural materials Western red cedar clads all the exterior and a lot of the interior. We milled the wood in different profiles to create texture and depth. The shadow hits those different profiles and creates contrast. We left the exterior cedar untreated, and when I visit, the cedar changes slightly with each passing time, and I think this gives the home a sense of belonging. The interiors are a combination of Western red cedar on the walls and ceilings. The main floor is an exposed concrete slab that's been polished to expose the aggregate. The casework throughout is white oak, and so are the floors upstairs and the stairs. We wanted the interiors to feel warm and inviting. The use of natural materials, an abundance of natural light, garden views, all those things add to the richness and the warmth that you feel on the inside. Anton, being a photographer, natural light plays a big part into his work. The abundance of light we use for his home, it adds an energy to the interiors. Whether it's a beam of light coming through a clear story window in the shower, or the afternoon light filtering through the bamboo, casting rustling shadows, it adds a dynamic aspect to the home. The benefit of providing both the design and the construction is the quality control. We're ultimately responsible for the execution. It also forces us as designers to think about the constructability of the house. How is it all going to go together? So we really can hone in on those details. We set out to achieve a comfortable family home on a small lot. 
that blurred the lines between the inside and the out. And I feel like we were successful. 